Good morning, folks. Friday here. Today's video will be a response to the question of the week number 51. If you haven't seen that video, basically I ask you guys, what is holding you back from getting out there speaking with the native speaker, uh, particularly in the uh, beginning stages? Uh, is it that your accent, you feel that your accent is bad? Do you feel that your pronunciation isn't accurate enough? Uh, any, any of these things um, that are holding you back from speaking with the native? Um, I think it's, it's, I should say that it's really easy, you know, it, it's really easy for someone who has experience, um, who has went through this process, um, it's very easy for, for these people to, um, you know, tell people that they should do it, um, it's okay, blah, 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 you know, and it's always good encouragement. I think it's always good to encourage, um, someone which in this case a language learner to get out there you know and just have fun and you know go through this process and don't worry too much but at the same time i think we have to consider that there are just people who were brought up in um, in an environment where they they didn't get um they didn't get this type of education that this education that tells you that it's okay to commit errors um it's okay to sound weird when learning a language, it's okay. It's it's a process that you have to go through, and it's going to take time uh, before you become accustomed to it. Um, those people, you know, I remember growing up. Uh, I had two good friends. Uh, we went to school together, and I remember their parents were very hard on them. Their parents didn't accept them getting anything less than the B. Like they literally had to get A's and B's in school, otherwise they will get punished. And this is how their parents were for a long time. And I think this has a major impact on an individual's mentality, particularly a child. Uh, so when this child gets older, they naturally become, um, let me see, um, not perfectionist, but they, they become more aware. They, they, they're they they're, um, aware of a lot of things, which in this case, if they're learning a language, they're very aware of their, their faults, um, their accent, you know, they just... They have this 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 awareness that it's hard to let go, you know. So um, it's very understandable why some people are like that. They were raised that way. Um, so for those of you who who have this problem, um, I'm gonna just talk about a couple solutions that you can consider uh, when learning a language. Now the first thing I would say, like school, you can take classes if you have the money, you want to do this, and you're willing to go through the process and spend the money because it's going to take time. You go to school. Why? Because you don't have to really worry about others making fun of you or, you know, make uh, criticizing you, your accent, pronunciation. You don't have to worry about that. Why? Because you all of you are on the same level. You, you're all on the same level. Um, you're all you're all on the same level and everyone's going to make the same mistakes. Um, the teacher, obviously, the teacher is there to help you. The teacher is not going to make fun of you. So you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> So you take this class for several years, build up your experience, build up your confidence, which will ultimately ultimately lead to um, motivation, get you more motivated to speak with someone, even a stranger. OK, because you will feel com by that time you will feel comfortable with your pronunciation, your accent. You, you, you you'll just feel comfortable with it. So you can go through that process. Um, the second solution is, you know, finding someone, a native speaker who you can work with one on one, a private tutor. And again, you don't have to worry about someone else criticizing you or making fun of you because you guys are there to help each other. Uh, a native speaker who is interested in learning English or whatever your native language is, you can help them with that. And then they can help evaluate your progress. They can um, give you feedback on pronunciation, give you feedback on accent, um, you know, and this is going to take some time. So you can do that. Or, you know, you can, you know, just get out there and don't worry. Of course, you want to train yourself. Um, get out there and go through the painful, like even more painful, uh, by speaking with the natives right away when it's still early. You know, this is painful. Uh, but as they say, no pain, no gain. You No pain, no gain. Uh, but, you know, you will get used to everything um, over, over time. That's just how it is. So, um... Yeah, like I said, it's always good to encourage everyone to get out there and do these things. But at the same time, some people are just there. It's just in them. It's a part of them to be so aware and hard to let go. And it's, it takes a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of effort um, to overcome this. So um, 
yeah, so that's basically uh, what I um, what I asked, and um, you just have to remember also that at the end of the day, you just going you're going to have to accept the faults, the errors. You're going to have to you're going to have to accept this uh, this process. What 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 what, uh, what you're going to all these things that you're going to be looking forward to when starting a language, language. Basically, you know, when you learn a foreign language, you're learning your own language, just like learning your own language all over again. You got to go through the process, make these mistakes. Um, you know, when we were young, in our own language, we would get corrected by our parents. They would tell us to to, to pronounce it this way. Is no, you don't say it like that. You say it like this. You know, that's a process, and you have to go through that same process when you start learning a foreign language. So. Um, these are just some things to consider, and those are my thoughts on it. But um, yeah, that's just how it is. That's that's the beauty of learning the language is the process. Because I feel that once you get through the process, you overcome all of these obstacles. You know, at the way at the beginning, you sound you sounded weird. You you just it was just so bad. But then at the end, once you get to the end of the tunnel, you know. People are telling you that, oh, wow, you made a lot of progress, blah, blah, blah. You know, you sound good and all that. I mean, that's 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 a that's a great feeling and it's a huge achievement. So that is just something to consider. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, make a video response. Uh, otherwise, thanks for viewing and um, hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care.